Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. Today we're going to look at how to block ports and open ports on your PFSense firewall. So let's check it out right now. So we're going to look at PFSense. Now we're assuming that you already have PFSense installed. I do have another video on my channel that shows you how to install and configure PFSense. So we're going to just go ahead and uh, show you how to do this, assuming that you already have it and that you're logged into your portal right here. So the very first thing you want to do is you'll see obviously some information in here uh, around your IP addresses, etc. And up the top, you've got some different uh, drop down areas. So we're going to click on firewall and down to rules. Now within here, we can configure what ports and what source and destination IPs uh, traffic should be flowing through. And we can control exactly what ports and what applications are allowed uh, access through here. So you've got a WAN and a LAN. We're gonna do it from the LAN. So we want it from an internal perspective. We're talking about our local area network only. You'll see that I've already got some predefined rules in here about what certain things can do. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click on add. Down the bottom, you've got add. I can click on add and you'll have a few options in here that you need to fill out. The very first thing is selecting the action. What do you want this to do? What do you want this particular rule to do? You want it to pass, block, or reject. So pass means that you've put this rule in place, your traffic will hit your firewall and it'll just pass it through. Not a problem, it's essentially accepting that connection. A block will block it from even going through, won't even inspect it, it'll just block it. A reject will actually inspect it and it'll return to the sender saying that it's essentially not gonna be allowed to go through. So for the purpose of this, we're gonna say block. So we wanna block a particular port. If you wanna open a particular port, you say pass, okay? So down here, we've got interface. Do you want it to be a LAN or a WAN? Obviously, we're selecting LAN because that's what we want to do. The address family, IP version four or version six. Most commonly, you're probably gonna use IP version four, which is your standard IP range of, uh, you know, 192.168.1.1. Uh, IP version six isn't used as often, so we'll leave it as IP version four. Protocol is gonna be either TCP or UDP in most instances. Uh, there are chances that it could be a different sort of, sort of protocol, but be mindful of the protocol that you, that you uh, need to use, that, that you need to select. Um, certain applications will use certain protocols. So uh, you, may be, you may be blocking a particular port on the wrong protocol and it may not work. So just keep in mind that the port that you select needs to, be, um, needs to have a particular protocol assigned against it. So for this, we're just gonna leave it as our default of TCP. And now we select this source. So this is essentially saying, where is the traffic coming from? By having any in here, which is the standard default, essentially means anything on your network that goes and hits your firewall will trigger this particular rule. You can also customize this and put single IPs in here or specific um, subnets or WAN or LAN or network IP addresses. Um, you could in the scenario say you've got a single host, you know, and you have an allow, let's say you've got a pass, and I've got, you know, a particular port blocked for every single, uh, you know, every single device on my network, but I want the CEO to be able to access this particular application or this particular whatever it may be, this particular port. So you can put their IP address in here if you know what that would be to actually allow that through. You can also block individual IPs if you so need to, but we're gonna say any, I'm gonna go back up here to block. So any source is gonna block and then your destination is where is it going. You can also control um, from, a, from a subnet to subnet, from a network to network, from an individual IP to an individual IP or combinations of all of those from a source and a destination point of view. We're gonna say this port, I want it blocked from every single source to every single destination, whether that's internal or external, you know, out to the internet, for example. So leave it as any, destination as any. And then we've got the port that we're, gonna, that we're actually gonna select. You've got some predetermined um, most common ports listed in here. So these are ports such as you know your POP3, you've got SMTP, you've got SSH, 
uh, you've got you know FTP, DNS, etc. Common ports. You can select um, other and specify the port in here. You know, three three eight nine, which would be for TCP IP or for TCP. Sorry, for for RDP traffic. Um, but for this, we're just going to select one that's predetermined here, which is going to be port eighty. So port eighty, most common port would most people would know is the port that is going to be used for your web traffic when you're opening up a browser and you're travel and you're opening up a website that is over HTTP, it's going to be using port 80. So this rule is going to say block all traffic over port 80, essentially block all web traffic over port 80 um, from your source of all to your destination of all. You can also log your packets. So you can actually log who is uh, trying to access this or what service tries to access this particular rule. And you can keep a track of exactly what, you know, what the traffic is doing. And then I can put some des some description in here, um, web traffic block, okay, and save. And that is now going to put it up the very top because I did select add with the top. You can also select add with the bottom and it'll put it down this chain. Um, one rule will um, triumph over a different rule depending on the order of um, where it is in this, in this order chain. You can easily grab your rule and move it as you need to quite easily. But we're going to leave it up the top here. So this is the very first rule that's going to be hit. And it's going to be doing all sources to all destinations over port 80. It's got a little cross here on the left, which means essentially that it's going to block this uh, traffic going through quite easily. You also can do an allow. So let's say in this scenario, you want to uh, um, you know, block every single IP range against every single port, you'll create a rule accordingly. So you can say any to any to any port, and then you can open specific ports only. So you can actually say, I want to only open up particular ports that I'm allowing in my firewall. So that is quite simply how do you how you open and how you block ports through PFSense. I would love it if you commented below. Comments, do let me know what you thought about this video and also help me to grow the channel and, and share this, um, this information with more and more people. But uh, we'll talk to you next time. So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel Digital by Computing just on the button there for more videos.